As photographers, we are always looking for a unique experience from a camera. Many of us are chasing analog controls and film-like looks that bring back a sense of flair and creativity to photography. Being mostly a film shooter, I have never found that same sense of anticipation and excitement when using a digital camera. That was until I found this, a camera that does something truly special. So recently we got a whole load of cameras and one of the first ones we pulled out of the bunch was this Olympus E620 made in 2009. We were playing around with the mode dial and I noticed that one of the settings had the word art in it and I thought, hmm, that sounds like my kind of setting. There were quite a few of these art modes and I wasn't sure if they would be gimmicky and novelty so we thought we'd just try them out at home first. Of course, the first mode that we chose to try was grainy film go figure. Not expecting much, Lux, my partner, took some photos of me around the house and when we got them on the computer I was like oh my god these photos are amazing. I do find that black and white images are more convincing than color when trying to get that film look but I've never seen anything like what this camera can do emulating a pushed very high contrast black and white look. There is just something about the way this camera with this setting produces amazing, convincing film-like photos that are also aesthetically pleasing and very striking. Take a look at these images here and then when we come back, I will tell you the other reasons that I am so excited about this camera. One of the main reasons I shoot film and continue to do so despite the prices is the feeling you get when your lab sends you the scans. It's like Christmas day and your birthday and everything good all rolled into one. It's just the most exciting feeling. When I shoot digital, I really miss that feeling. With this Olympus E620 and this black and white grainy film setting, you really are getting that kind of experience and the randomness of analog photography that makes it so special. So you might be thinking, why would someone want to buy a 14 year old digital camera when we have all of these amazing Fujifilm options? When comparing this Olympus camera to Fujifilm cameras, there is one notable difference. Fuji cameras focus on the user experience and have moved away from the clinical crispy look that digital is known for and that is why they are so popular. However, when using a Fuji camera, you are just looking at a computer screen or even the ones with an OVF are giving you a rangefinder-like experience at best. Whereas the Olympus is a true SLR and in my honest opinion, as a photographer, you just can't beat that feeling of looking optically through the lens. Seeing exactly how you are framing your image and what you are focusing on is really important to me in feeling confident about the images I'm producing. So I'm not gonna get deep into the text and specs and all of the features of this camera. I have only had it for a few days, but I was so excited to share the results. I wanted to jump on and make a video for you. So with this camera, you can turn the LCD screen around and get your settings punched in to set it to this black and white art mode. And with a 512 megabyte CF card, you will get about 77 shots. So it's kind of like shooting a roll in a half frame camera. I know this is something that a lot of us film shooters are doing at the moment, getting smaller memory cards to try and replicate 
shooting a roll of film and restricting ourselves when we're shooting digital so it does have that analog kind of feel to it. This one happened to come with a battery grip which I am actually really happy about because I have quite big hands if you haven't noticed and it's really good to just have like that extra bit to hold on to when I'm shooting. Another cool thing about the battery grip is there is a shutter button so it makes it super easy if you are shooting in portrait orientation. I keep forgetting it's there though and doing the awkward arm um, thing like this when I could just be doing this which is so much better. Overall the ergonomics of the camera are really great. It's definitely not a compact option but I really like to have something to kind of hold on to. <laughs> I feel like sound of shutter is super important and this camera does not disappoint. Oh, I should probably turn it on. Ooh, sounds so good. Like I said, my partner and I have been sharing this, but whenever I was using it, I really felt like I could get in the zone and I didn't particularly feel like I was shooting digital. I kind of felt like I was out with my Nikon F65 or something. One more thing that makes this camera really special, which isn't necessarily something I care about, but I feel like a lot of people watching will, is all of the buttons and functions on the back here light up. So if you're shooting at night, I think that's really great. We haven't had this camera for very long, like I said, so we haven't tried out any other modes or color too much. I will do that in the future. So definitely make sure you come over and follow me on Instagram. Come say hi so you can see those results. And also I have a free weekly newsletter, which is linked below. And I share a lot of my photography, my thoughts, uh, upcoming things and the occasional giveaway. So definitely jump on that one as well. We were really lucky to get this camera in a bundle of about 10 others for 200 Australian dollars on Facebook Marketplace. So I think if you look around, you probably could grab one for a good deal, but on eBay, they are going for a little bit more than that. There is a lot of potential with this camera and so many things that you can do. So I think it's definitely worth the eBay prices, but I think you could look around and find someone who kind of thought that this was obsolete or didn't know what it was and get it for a good price. For me, sending my film away to my lab, it actually ends up more expensive to be shooting black and white than someone who devs at home. So this camera is great for me as I'm definitely gonna make it my like dedicated black and white camera. It might even push me to shoot black and white more, which I think is really cool. This camera is perfect if you love that kind of infrared, really high contrast black and white look as well, which is 100% my favorite. Overall, I think the most exciting and important thing about this camera is I can go out and I can shoot, get in the zone, and I don't exactly know what I'm gonna get, but I also know that I'm not gonna spend a lot of time in post. The photos looked really good straight out of camera, which I love. And it definitely had that kind of randomness that analog photography does where maybe something comes out completely different to how you thought it would, but it ends up looking really cool. And I think that's the thing that you're missing with digital. Everything is kind of punched in and it's a sure thing. Whereas with film, there is this element of kind of like magic and surprise. And that's what makes it so fun. I definitely don't get that from a lot of digital cameras and not all digi cams even. So I think this one is very special. If you are wanting more reviews and options in terms of the older Olympus cameras, because they are so great, definitely check out Ali's channel, One Month Two Cameras. I will link it below. She is an amazing camera reviewer and she literally has something for everyone in every price option. So definitely check that out.